Now the new tube and the tough man, I welcome back some more! I am the dirty man, I come from UCD, and what am I doing today? Don't know what I'm doing today, but I'm in the Euro League! I am in the Euro League, Euro League, Euro League. I am in the Euro League, yes, let's have a win. If I win, if I manage to beat a European team, I am gonna be insanely fucking happy. Because, uh, yeah. Uphill battle for man, it says there. Well, look at this. We are massively far ahead in the fucking league. And hopefully, we can keep it that way. Because I tell you something, at the moment, this is just fucking looking legendary for our team. It's absolutely looking great stuff um, for us. Look at Piplachuk, 72 rated. What an, what an absolute legend that guy is. Uh, so, right, okay. Gonsalves Tinoco, very strange. He's going into, uh, into the right mid-territory there. That's really fucking strange. What's happened to McNellis? Oh, mind you, he's like much fucking better. So he could be even better in the ways of... Uh, mind you, he's got good acceleration there. He's got good crossing. He could be actually not a bad right midfielder. Um, what about his dribbling though? His dribbling shit, yeah. Um, okay, so Gajinda Kumar, Pungweo, uh, Rudetinak, who's like the biggest ledge since sliced bread. Uh, Tunkara, we've got a really good squad here. Gonsalves Tinoco! Why is... what? I thought Thingamabob was there a second ago. Somebody else. Or am I thinking things here? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm sure that What's-His-Face was there a minute ago. Did I just switch somebody by accident? No. It must be actually him. Because I was going through his stats and I said, oh, actually, he's not pretty bad, he's not too bad. Unless I was on the wrong person, which is entirely possible. Oh, no, I was on the right person, look. It's just that I was on a different screen. Duh! Gomez de Fritas. Uh, Asvedo de Silva could be the first 80-rated guy, or should be the first 80. And look, genetically modified, Lopez de Araujo. And, of course, Gaetano Trevisan, who's just legendary as well. Oh, love this team. Love this team to death. So let's go and have a look then, guys. Let's simulate this match. A home game against Dundalk, who are sitting in sixth place. Seven points behind us with this game. So, UCD versus Dundalk. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be 1-0. Gomez de Fritash managing to score there. Uh, Gonzalez Tinoco coming off, actually, for uh, uh, Ralte. La Rundica. Ralte on the right-hand side. It's interesting. I uh, just wanted to let you know I'm settled. Is that my youth guy? Electricity league. Setting up. Oh, yeah. No, what the fuck? Has set out for Spain. Oh, okay, right, yeah. So we'll get some monthly updates on him. Sligo Rovers next. Oh, only a, like two days rest. No, not even two days. It's like one day rest and then back in for fucking training and then the game. Wow. Wow, wow, what the hell? We're going to get some injuries here, I'm sure. We're going to get some injuries here, but that's what the uh, the switcheroo says. We're going to go with the switcheroo. Away versus Sligo, and uh, they're 13 points at the moment, Sligo. This is going to be a difficult game, and I'm sure that we're going to get injured somewhere along the line. But uh, again... Oh, Gonsalves Tinoco has picked up an injury. I said we were going to get one. Uh, what's the injury? What's it? Head cut is going to be out for seven days. Seven days with a head cut? Fucking hell, what's he done? Oh, Spartan. Fucking brilliant. And then the two days, and then... Why did we not play on Sunday? I don't get it. Player returns from injury. Felipe Diogo Salagil. Good stuff, because we need that guy back. Laura Indica Ralte. Uh, Gonsalves Tanoko. Actually, no, he's... Look, Gonsalves Tanoko's injured. I could have just pressed uh, simulate and it would have done it for me. Which uh, I'm going to go ahead and do now. Delegate to the ass man. And because it's a European game, I'm going to be watching this as it unfolds. Sporting. Oh, man. Come on now, guys. Can we get our first win in the European Cup? I doubt it. Not against this team. Come on. Rudetinac's got a yellow card. Oh, and there's the goal for Sporting. As Vedo de Silva's been injured. No. Don't tell me he's picked up like a fucking legendary injury because I will be annoyed. Our best player's been injured and taken off the pitch. Way Rudetinac! Can we get a winner in the last 10 minutes? No! Sporting can instead. You fuckers! You rained on my bastard parade. You son of a bitch. Diego Capel. Please tell me that injury's not bad. Please. 
dead leg. He's got for three days. Oh, it's terrible injury that. It's a fucking terrible injury that. Constant Angua. Help me realise wasn't what I was offered. What? It was. Very briefly. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for a goalkeeper, actually, as well. Oh, shit. This is where we're going to slip down the league now because we're just that fucked after the fucking European matches every day that, uh... Oh, we've lost our talisman as well for this match. That's Vedo da Silva. Lee W. Leandro. They're catching up to us, you know, now. This is bad. St. Pat's, home game. Beraldo Santos is playing. Trevisan and Guerrero scoring, managing to get us another win. Fan fucking tastic, but look at the players that we're putting out. We really are using the uh, the squad depth now. We have to. We're in the European Cup. So what's that doing to us? Well, we are 24 points. Uh, Limerick Shamrock Rovers there on 18. So you know they're they're not that far behind. In all honesty, that lo that loss against Sligo really you know set us back a bit. And I don't want to be... Oh, well, come on now, guys. We can do this. We can fucking do this. I know we can. Where are you? Why is it picking their, those players? What the fuck? Well, I'm going to let it go anyway, because that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Monthly scouting update. Let's have a look, see what he's managed to find. If anything decent. Nah, they're all shite. Sergio Torres. They really are all crap, so we're going to reject them all. The next transfer window, De Souza Santos. Well, whatever. What evs? Got a new legendary guy at, at fucking centre back. So, yeah, the team is just getting fucked and fucked and fucked where it doesn't need to be. Cork City versus UCD. These, now these are bottom, I believe. They've scored one goal in every game. Oh, are you kidding me? Genetically modified Lopez has managed to rescue a point for us, but that's not good, is it? When you uh, draw against bottom of the table. We've got a good rest now, thanks to uh, the internationals. And then we're back in with a game. Big game. Against, who the fuck are you again? St. Pat's. Of course it is. Rudetinac has got a red card. Having a laugh. Let's see what What's on the office here? The Player's table. been suspended. The the I, I know, I've just found out, thank you. So let's get the ass man to delegate here. And we're away from home for this one. They've had a good run of late. Apart from us, where we beat them 2-1. And we've just beaten them again 2-1. And uh, two goals for Gaetano Trevisan. Get in. So where does that put us in the league? Well, we don't know at the moment. Because we're back in Europe. And uh, can we get our first win in Europe? We've got to get it, haven't we? Fucking Salzburg. That is literally how it's going to finish, I reckon. We might be able to beat Salzburg. I reckon we could beat Salzburg, right? But standard Liège and Sporting are going to go through. There's no doubt about it. They've got so much... They've got better fucking players than what we have. Stop giving me a Saturday game. Fuck off. After a fucking Thursday game. Cheating bastards. That's what they are. Cheating. They just want to see me lose. That's their problem. They just want to see me lose. Right, let's go into the squad and do the old switcheroo. As we uh, go re get ready to face off against our next European uh, competitor. Salzburg. D'Souza Santos is actually playing in this one. He's, I bet he's going to be happy now. Laurendica Ralte. Why is Felipe... Oh, yeah. No, I'll, hang on. That's, that's all right, that. Why is Gomez de Fritas there and not Asveda? What the flying fuck is going on here? There's no way that that should ever happen. That should be what's happening right now. I'm telling you now. That is what should be happening. Genetically modified Lopez D. Good stuff. Right, no, I was just looking through there. I went silent for a second because I thought, does that look right to me? But it does. So, again, an away game against Salzburg this time. If we've got any hope of progressing, we need to win this one. We need to win this one. And for us to lose the last one in... Uh, oh, come on now. Nielsen's managed to score for Salzburg. Gomez de Fritash has got injured. Uh, so, Raute has probably come on, I would think. No, nobody's come on. What the hell? Raute's finally come on. 60, 70th minute. We need a fucking result. 
We need a result here. We're not getting it. It doesn't seem. Oh, 2 0 in the end. It was just outclassed by these European competitors. We're going to have to dip into the, uh, the transfer market, I think. About the last match was not one that we want to see end in defeat, and we are concerned it may negatively affect your stock amongst the supporters. Fuck off where I've put this team. You can fuck right off. Gomez de Fritas is out for two days. Jesus Santos says, thanks for putting me in, Jeff. And I says, hey, don't bring Jeff into this. Now we've got a game, once again. If I get sacked because I get dumped out of the European Cup, I'm going to be fucking fuming. I'm going to be fucking fuming. So, we've got another league game here. This one again, a home game against Sligo. A home game against Sligo. We need a win here. To, uh, to further out where we are in the table, to get back into the Champions League. Uh, that We want to get into the Champions League. 2-0, yes! Ryan and Felcher scoring both the goals there. We want to get back into the, uh, the, uh, the Champions League. Look at that. Look at that. Nine points ahead with the game against Dundalk coming up. See, we're getting such a short space of time. We're getting tons of fucking games put into it. We need better depth now. Now we're in Europe, we need squad depth. And we just don't have that at all. Look, Ass Bass Young Carl's getting a game and he's fucking 59 bastard rated. We need better squad depth. We need more ledges with wedges um, in hedges. Away game against Dundalk. It's always bad, is Dundalk, especially away. I always seem to lose this game. 2-1. Which I won the game 2-1 this time. As Vedder de Silva scoring both the goals. What a guy he is. And I'm sure that he's going to get 80 rated very, very shortly. Um, like the end of this month. That would be great. Sligo Rovers we got going to be facing off against again, it seems. Why? Jesus Christ. Bolivia want us to fuck right off. I don't want you. Gail Velasco. You made me certain promises. I couldn't give a shit what promises I give you, boy. Shelburne, not uh, Sligo. What am I on about? It looked like Sligo. Let's do the old switcheroo. As Ryan as well. Right, this Ryan guy, he keeps coming back in. Now, was he one of the young guys that I managed to pick up? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. 61 rate. He's well on form at the minute, is, is, uh, is Ryan. Felipe Diogo's not, though. Oh, dear. Uh, genetically modified. Trevisan's really on form as well. Rudetinac's really on form. I reckon they're going to go up the end of this uh, end of this month. You watch. Let's go ahead and do the old uh, simulation. It's a home game against Shelburne. And they've drawn, lost and drawn their last three. So it looks good for us. 5-0. Ralte Ryan once again getting on the scoreline for... Uh, the young guy. Lopez de Araujo, genetically modified, getting two goals. And Trevisan, again, getting a, a, a goal. Where does that put us in the league and how far ahead? Nobody knows. Um, Salzburg, of course, getting the three points there. We need, just want a win. We want to mention our satisfaction with the quality football we are seeing from the lads. Good. Should fucking hope so and all. I've fucking caused this. Right, look at that. We've got a, a new month starting. St. Patrick's Athletic 1. And we've got Sport in Lisbon, and then we've got another Saturday game, of course, as per usual. So we've got monthly scouting update again. Let's have another look, see if we've got anybody legend there. He doesn't look too bad. He could be uh, okay, this guy. Um, apart from that, he's a bag of shit. Let's get rid of him. Um, and he's a bag of shit. Let's get rid of him. And uh, he doesn't look, look like he's going to get anywhere. 38 to 50 rated, though, really, at 15. I'm not quite sure. We'll keep on going with him. We'll see what it says. Our players will be scouted further, of course. And then reading up the table, second bottom rising up the table. You're thinking of playing pro uh, Cabrera scapping instead of me, boss? No, I'm not actually, because I need to do the old switcheroo for this game against uh, Sporting. And if we manage to pull off a result in any of these, and I, I really just I want to win one game. Come on, just win one game. So redetinac has gone up to 73, so he's gone up. Um, Asvedo de Silva hasn't gone up. Holy crap! Uh, genetically modified has, which is awesome. But this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm liking this team. 
So, away game against Spartan. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be hugely, hugely difficult. And uh, we managed a 2-1 loss against them at home. We're looking at probably around about 3-0 loss here, away from home. Uh, Ronaldo putting the first one past us. Oh, such a shame. We're doing so well. If we can't even do, we can't even get through this group. Wilson Eduardo scoring the second. And where's the third going to come from? Anywhere? Are they going to score three? Or are they going to keep them to 2-0? 2-0! Away from home! It's not bad, is it, really? I don't think it's bad. The office might think it's bad, though. Thanks, boss. Cheers. Yeah, but you fucking lost, didn't you, you son of a bitch? Drogada! And then we've got a hugely important game against Shamrock. I always love to fucking rub Shamrock's face in it. They used to be the champions of the Airtricity League, but not anymore. Not now UCD have got the top man in charge. We are looking awesome. This is like a proper, full-on second string side here. This is fucking bad. Full-on second string side against Drogada. Away as well, just to put added pressure on. A win would do nicely, but we've got to think uh, realistically and look at this team. Nil-nil, I think I will take that, to be honest. I will take that against Drogada away from home with uh, our second string side. Apart from Pippa Chuck in the goal there. So we are nine points ahead, still nine points ahead. Shamrock Rovers have chance of gaining ground on us here, and so does Sligo. This is a big game, this one, against uh, Shamrock. But we should have all of our main guys back for this one. When we play Salzburg at home, that's going to be the one I'm hoping that we manage to win. That's the European game I'm hoping that we're managing to win. But we're not going to, we're not going to uh, get, you know... Um, Bottom of the table. Sent through. We're not going to go through to the next round. It's quite simple. And then up the table, simple maths. Bottom, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my bloody stomach hurt. <laughs> Bugger off. I'm trying to play here. A genetically modified and Trevor San and all the rest of the guys are back in town for this game. Big game against Shamrock Rovers. It's a home game. Come on now, UCD. Rub it in the faces. 3-0! How's that, Shamrock? And you, Mr. Penno, Jeff, as well, to make it 2-1. But we scored. Trevi Sand scored again. Go, Mr. Fritas, getting another goal. 3-0 is a fantastic result. That puts us now 11 points ahead in the league. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bohemians next. Shamrock Rovers, nil. Now let's see what effect that's had. What can we do against Bohemians? At the top of the table. And the Rhapsodies. University College Dublin with 41 points. In what second, can we do Sly about Rovers the Bohemian Rhapsodies? Who knows? Where is Felipe Rovers Diogo Salagil? In fourth, Why is he never playing? Because he's massively off farm. Yeah, but if he's not going to be playing, he's never going to be on farm, is he? And then reading up the table, um, bottom, wow. With well. Points. Third bottom, Derry City Redetinac. You watch him. Just watch that guy fly up. Because he will, I'm reckoning. Press conference, but who really gives a shit? Right, let's go and have a look. Away match against Bohemian Rhapsodies. I am a poor boy from a poor family. They come on, singing it. 2 0 as Vedo de Silva and Gaetano Trevisan. Yes! And Cork City beat Shamrock Rovers 2 1. Are you shitting me? Holy shit, how the mighty have fallen, Shamrock, eh? How the mighty have fallen, Shamrock. Look at this, 12 points ahead in the league now. We are owning this. And Limerick. Limerick, the next uh, team to face the, the wrath. To face the wrath that is. Now, has his... Uh, yeah, look, his form's back. 
You see? If you never fucking play these bastards, they never get the farm back. And it's practically the same team, so it seems. We've got uh, a new month. I'm going to wait for the new month to come around so I can see if... Uh, you know, um, if Asvedo de Silva managed to get up to his 80, that'd be fantastic if he could, in this episode. UCD versus Limerick at home, 3-0, Trevisan and Tunkara scoring a goal there. Just absolutely fantastic, doing really, really well. Really, really, look at this, still 12 points in it, Dundalk. We are so far, oh shit. Cork City, nil. I hate it when this happens, man. Two fucking days. Well, two two games in three days. The thing is, right? Oh, man, it's the home game as well. I'm just going to go ahead and do the old fucking switcheroo. Miguel Banyas, uh, Constant Angua. I'm going to get the whole fucking second string out, I think, for this one. To Sousa Santos. Gajinda Kumar. What's he doing there? With 10 points. Could be either of them. Felcher, McNellis, Laurendica, Ryan, Beraldo Santos, and uh, where's the other guy? Cabela, there he is. Okay, so that's what's gonna be. I, I need that second string out. I'm not gonna put every, you know, all the other guys in there because I need the, the, the first string to play against Thingamabob. I want to I win! I want a win in the cup. Bray versus UCD. Ah, oh, 2-1. 2-1. We managed to get one all, but then Bray managed to beat us. But look at all these fucking games. Why do it to me? It's not fair, is it? It's not fair. So we've got Salzburg. No, standard, actually. I thought it was Salzburg, that's why I took all my fucking guys out. Serves me right for not knowing the fucking badges. But, on the plus side, we have got all of our first team squad for this one. Oh, we've got two offices to have a look at. No worries, Land Alaurindika. No fucking worries, but you lost. Away versus Standard Liège. Oh man, what's this going to be like, eh? Now these were top of the uh, the the league. I can't there. Yeah, you can say I can't see us coming back into this. I really can't see us winning this game, especially away against Standard Liège. We're not getting a yellow card. We're keeping them to one nil. No. <laughs> I should never have said anything. It's now two nil. It's now three nil. Is it going to be four? We're getting absolutely owned by the Europeans here. Go, Mr. Free In the 87th minute, managing to score a goal. Velasco has got injured. He's got a plaster on him. He's going to be injured for two weeks. Fucker. Thanks, boss. Disappointed we win, but tried me hardest throughout all the game. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Right, let's do the old switcheroo because we can't play any of these fuckers. 80! Asvero de Silva's gone up to 80! Look at all this, man. Our people are entirely and utterly fucked. Because they're just not giving us the rest. At all. When, I mean, they could have at least arranged the fucking fixture fixtures for the second half of the season, you know what I mean? We weren't going to get through, let's be quite honest, but trying to shove all that on us... A home game against Derry City, which we should lose this. We really should lose this. We've got players all over the goddamn place that never fucking play. 3-1 way. No injuries as well. Fantastic. I'll take that. <laughs> That's a win. And look at that. We are nine points ahead in the league as we're going into December. We've got a little bit of a break now, which is good. We've got a monthly scouting update to have a, have a gander at. And they're all shit. Even the guy that we said we would keep an eye on. Um, I don't know. People saying, oh, I found this guy and I found that guy scouting. I never managed to find anything decent. That seems to be the problem with me. I always find shit players. So, as you can see, guys, look at the fucking team. They just want a break. They want a fucking break. They really do. Uh, 80 rated. Our first 80 rated guy is, of course... Asvedo de Silva. And uh, Redesinac, still 73 there. 
Um, Trevis Hands up 77. Oh, I think he was already on 77, was he not? That's uh, what's his first? Where is he? Ryan. He should have gone up because he's played well in this in this uh, episode. But anyway, I think that's practically it for this episode, guys. Uh, join me for the next one where we will be going into January and hoping that we can, I don't know, maybe sell some players, maybe buy some uh, more players or whatever. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to be happening. But anyway, until then, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.